It's not for the faint of heart like Doug and myself. One of the most historic paddleboard races is happening right now. I gotta hand it to these competitors. Oh, it's yeah. a really long way to paddleboard. The Catalina Classic paddleboard race kicked off earlier this morning. They're going from Catalina to Manhattan Beach, where KTLA's Beach Bunny Megan Tellis is live <laughs> with the update. How long is it gonna take them to get to Manhattan <laughs> Beach? Anywhere from five to nine hours, okay? So they started in Catalina. They left Two Harbors. Take a look. Actually, we have a live look of what Two Harbors looks like right now. You see how beautiful it is. The sun is up. The boats are there in the harbor. You see Catalina Island. This is a gorgeous place to be early in the morning on any given day, but on this special day, this is a race that's been around since 1955. So it's classic, it's historic, it's all the things. Here's what the racers look like at six o'clock this morning when they did leave two harbors there. And you can see there are about a hundred paddle boarders in the water. I was just talking to a waterman here in South Bay and he was like, yeah, you have to remember, this is the, the animals in the ocean, it's their water, right? Because I asked, are there sharks? Are there dolphins? Are there whales? He's like, uh, yeah. And you just paddleboard through it. That's, I guess, the beauty in being a waterman is that you're one with nature. Let's go ahead and come back out live here because I have a gentleman with me. He's a board member with the South Bay Board Riders Club. You've trained for this race 15 times. He's participated in the 32-mile paddleboard marathon five times, completed it, to be on this side of it now, your organizer, what does it feel like? Well, it's kind of bittersweet because yeah. you, you want to be out there with them. Sure. Um, but it's a lot easier. <laughs> I'll tell you that. A lot less sweaty. I don't know, actually. The uh, sun's pretty intense. Yeah, 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 you do sweat a bit. You get hot even though uh, the water's cold and the wind's blowing out there, okay. it sounds like. But yeah, you still get hot. As a waterman who's done that race multiple times, what is the sweetest part? Because I don't think I'll ever, in my lifetime, I don't think I'll ever get on that paddleboard and do the 32 miles. But what does it feel like, the experience? Yeah, the sweetest part is when you're about 100 yards off the, the buoy that'll be out there to finish and you, you know you're going to make it. Yeah. And yeah, it's a feeling like, a, I don't know how to describe it. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's beyond words, but... Uh, and it's special to this community so much so that a statue has been erected. It took a long time for that statue to come to place here in Manhattan Beach, if we can get into that video now, because I think it's really special when I keep talking to everyone here, that, that statue. And you were in the meetings. Yeah. Talk to me about why it's special to you. Uh, because the race is so iconic and it means so much to, to every waterman that's come through the South Bay. If you're a... If you're a surfer in this area or, or any kind of true waterman, you have to do that race. It's just a rite of passage. Yeah. And so to see those guys get the recognition they deserve because it's the guys that win that race after, you know, 32 miles and, and five, six hours, they are, they're athletes up there with the greatest athletes in the world. Yeah, you so. were saying that the winners, ding, ding, the winners will come into place uh, and cross the line. Is there a finish line? There's a finished buoy. You got to finish. Finished buoy. Yeah. They'll pass the buoy at around 11 o'clock this yeah. afternoon, and then the rest will come in a few hours after that. So Lauren, Pedro, Casey, all of us right now. Hey, what would we do on a paddleboard, right? Maybe we would stretch. stretch it out. We, we would, would do paddleboard yoga because it is 8:38. And you know what that means? Five-hour show. It's time to stretch it out. It, it is, is time, time for the 8:38 stretch on the Sunday.